fire broke out on April the 19th, 1904. It was a, an extremely cold and windy night and it was first reported by, they believe, a Toronto police officer who was walking the beat in that neighborhood. And they pulled box number 12 and that alerted the Toronto Fire Department that the fire was in progress. Earlier fires had destroyed much of Old Town Toronto in 1849 and again in 1872. That fire literally melted iron buildings. But it was the Great Fire of 1904 that erased 20 acres of the downtown financial district. And that fire burned for days and days. When it was finally put out, uh, $10 million in damage had been done. And luckily, no one actually perished in that fire. Uh, the equipment has changed dramatically since those early days. As of 1910, that's when horses and the wagon style of firefighting began to be phased out and motorized vehicles were beginning to be acquired. The steamer engines that were used in the early 1900s were also beginning to be phased out. The fire trucks of today have the ability to haul large quantities of water to a fire scene and have the pumping capacity to be able to spray that water long distances and in a much more powerful way. This station that's that we're looking at today was built in 1878 and the host tower that you see is a replication of the original one. This one was built in 1972 but it mimics the old host tower that was there. This style of station allows for hosts to be hoisted up inside the tower and drained and dried. For more information visit our website on topoftheworld.net